Let's simplify this complex fraction. We know two methods for simplifying. Since I have a single rational expression in the numerator of this complex fraction and a single rational expression in the denominator, let's go ahead and write this as the numerator 5x squared over yz squared divided by, because that's what that fraction bar means, divided by the denominator of the rational expression. And now we'll divide as usual. How do we divide? It is the first rational expression, 5x squared over yz squared times the reciprocal of the second one. So that's z cubed over 10x. And how do we multiply? Numerator times numerator. So 5x squared times z cubed over denominator yz squared times denominator. Let's see if we can simplify this. Well, I know 5 and 10 have a common factor of 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. What about our variables? Well, let's see. I have z cubed in the numerator, z squared in the denominator. That would be z raised to a power of 3 minus 2 or 1 in the numerator. So I've got a z in the numerator. By the way, there's a 1 there. I may or may not have to write it. And I do have that 2 from the 10 being uh, reduced. What about the y's? That is my only y, so I'll go ahead and rewrite y. And what about x's? I have x squared in the numerator, x in the denominator. That's x raised to a power of 2 minus 1, or 1. It would be in the numerator. So x to the 1, or simply x. Notice there's no more simplifying I can do. So here is my complex fraction simplified.